LED indicator light is flashing. You can kind of hear that. Here's the charging. If I turn it a little faster. Use one finger. Wanted to show you too that um, with a non cogging alternator, there's really no difficulty in getting this to start up, even with that circuit. You know, once you once you start and turn it, you can kind of feel. some of the resistance it's pretty easy to turn okay here's uh, the amperage going in just turning it with one finger This is one phase, it's a single phase alternator. You can slow it way down. That would just be a little bit of charging. Get it to about 50 milliamps right there. It's 40, 50 milliamps. Anyway, it's an easy thing to set up. These are all common uh, parts you can get at, say, a Radio Shack. That's a Radio Shack transformer, bridge rectifier, transistor, um, little resistor, diode, um, LED, all parts you can get. And the reason um, I mounted it on a board is because sometimes people are intimidated by trying to make their own printed circuit board. You can just um, breadboard this up right onto a piece of plywood. Just solder things up. It's a little easier because you know what you're doing and where everything's going to go. And just surface mount all your parts and solder them up. You know, I use um, some little screws. You know, you could get fancier and have nuts and washers and bolt things up but you know you can kind of see how easy it is to know where your parts are going to go everything's labeled we're not going to use the uh, the other set of wires out of this transformer they will put out a really low voltage um, just because the way the transformer is set up almost an unusable kind of voltage so I just tape them up get them out of the way really only using the um, the secondary I wanted to show you um, I didn't show it in the previous film this um, metal film I think it's a polyester capacitor it needs to be here between the AC or this doesn't work um, and I had it in line somewhere else that's what you want. You want that little baby there. And also, if you change this pot out, I, I don't have a 5K pot. I really want a 5K pot. Um, this is this is the wrong kind. That's an audio one. But I'll show you. Um, this will just this alternator will just free spin with it adjusted like that. So I'll free spin that and then turn this. Hopefully you can see that. There, the little light just came on. We're charging. 
But if you don't like where it cuts in, you can just adjust that. Now I'm getting 200 milliamps. So you want, you want a pot that has a little more throw on it than a, a 1K pot. So now I'm turning real easy. I'm getting 200. I'm just using one finger. I'm just pressing on it with my finger. And you can see how easy that is to... Here's a quarter of an amp. So really, I'll have to refine what pot that's going to be. It adjusts the duty cycle. There are little lights coming on now. It's a little harder to grind. But if I adjust this, it's much easier to turn. There's a quarter amp. I'm just pressing on that. And only put out say three volts, five volts. You know, in a 10 mile an hour wind, you can get some charge into your 12 volt battery this way. Anyway, I hope it helps. We have fun.